like, let's go to this number 10 video. Uh, we will talk about uh, um, the second small part of the uh, chapter 2, semantic web, RDF, link data, and Sparkle. Within this, we uh, will talk before RDF, uh, discuss about the concept of uh, URL, URI, IRI, and the namespace. So uh, there's also our, uh, the uh, URN. So uh, that uh, is the preparation for you to uh, have a more deep understanding about the RDF and the Sparkle. Uh, so I uh, want to uh, introduce this uh, uh, in some uh, background uh, information. From, you can see this uh, from page uh, 21 uh, of the book. Uh, so let's uh, uh, have uh, some quick uh, the relationship uh, view. So I grabbed uh, such kind of a sample picture from web, uh, open web. So just to give you some idea is the relationship uh, between those uh, concepts. Uh, it's not mentioned URN in the book, but I added that. So if you just from the grouping perspective, URL and the URN is in the most uh, inside, but they also have some uh, the uh, overlapping each other. URL code is uniform resource locator. Uh, URN is the resource names, so they are in the uh, the lowest uh, level. And beyond the URL and the URN, include them is we define the URI, uh, which is the most important concept uh, throughout this uh, book. Uh, because when we talking about the RDF, it's uh, talking about the resource uh, uh, as the identifier, not the locator. URL is uh, most of the time is just uh, the normal web page for people or person to visit through the browser. But the URI is uh, as the identifier uh, for RDF or triple uh, or your stack or to query. Uh, beyond the URI, actually uh, not mentioned in uh, much in the book, uh, but we also have the uh, IRI as the biggest uh, uh, scope. Uh, it's called is uh, internationalized resource identifier. The difference is the first uh, character I replace the U. So the internalized means uh, they are adding the uh, multi-language support, especially for some uh, double bytes uh, language uh, that you can make them as the identifier in your uh, this uh, link. Then structure, let's see, starting from the URL structure. So we have uh, pro uh, probably is, uh, the five parts. So first is HTTP or HTTPS. That's uh, depending on uh, the which one is, uh, is called the protocol, uh, the group. After protocol is the before the first slash uh, is the domain. So site checker dot pro is our domain name. After domain is uh, you uh, or someone who is the domain owner uh, can have the fully control uh, to define the uh, hierarchy structure under the domain. Uh, then he can he or she can define the path. The path can be one layer or multiple layer, but all of them uh, before the last uh, slash will be the path. Uh, and then this, uh, uh, with this uh, question mark, uh, is of a query string. So we can query through the knowledge base with the article under uh, the name and the SEO as the topic. Uh, then we also have the fragment. Uh, that is your article structure. So you can have the bookmark uh, into certain the paragraph or certain the, uh, segmentation, then uh, you can come to that uh, uh, the pound top to go to the uh, those uh, specific fragment. Uh, then uh, the uh, web server will return you as our uh, web page uh, come to uh, that fragment. Uh, the layer. So that is the URL structure. And if we keep on this URL structure, we have protocol. Uh, the domain, subdomain, and we have a path, we have the page, extension, perimeter, and anchor. Anchor is the fragment. Uh, then you can see it's uh, with protocol together until the path. That is our uh, normal URL, uh, the scope. Uh, we, uh, without the protocol, it's uh, starting from the domain, subdomain, until your, uh, the perimeters and the anchors or fragments, 
that is the URN. So that is the this part. So you can see the URL starting from the beginning. URN is end in the most right. They are having the overlapping uh, in the domain and the path. Uh, and including both the URL and the URN's scope, that is our URI. But URI is uh, we are not only talking about the web page. It's just uh, we treat this uh, link uh, uh, as our resource uh, identifier. So that is our uh, the URI means. Uh, and then this, uh, uh, if I put in here, so URL and the URN is uh, if you put a book. Uh, as a sample, that is the, just the book number uh, using some uh, standard uh, as a ISBN. And the URI is uh, contained uh, just uh, the English words, or we call this the standard ask um, uh, the code. And if we extend that, is uh, uh, we will come to IRI. So replace U to I means uh, that contain the Unicode, uh, which means uh, including like some Chinese language, Japanese, Korean, or uh, some other language. Uh, so this picture is coming from this uh, uh, very interesting, uh, the nice uh, blog uh, that you can read those, uh, uh, the, uh, the definition. Uh, so uh, you, you can come to the book is uh, within the book is uh, if I uh, give you here is uh, I also highlight some parts uh, that is the imp uh, the important uh, things uh, defined uh, what is the URI uh, and through the URI to IRI so uh, that is the uh, to this uh, book uh, and then this I uh, uh, put those uh, summarized uh, into the mind map. So if you go to the mind map, is uh, you can also see the uh, the detailed definition. I hope is uh, you can read this uh, through uh, after the video, uh, and then to understand the slightly difference uh, be, uh, among these uh, four uh, the. Uh, uh, this uh, concept. Uh, URL, URN is, uh, we already mentioned that uh, uh, quite a lot, so that is, uh, uh, I, I don't repeat uh, them. Uh, but if we come to the URI, I give you some, uh, the more explanation from the book. It's the first is uh, URI is the key, uh, the identifier concept which we will use in the RDF related syntax. Uh, so including Turtle, N3, and Sparkle. Uh, we will use this, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the less than, uh, the greater than uh, brackets to tell our uh, Sparkle processor or query processor that something is an actual URI and not just uh, like our web page uh, starting from HTTP. Uh, and the URI is identify RDF resource, so when we uh, Define RDF is our data model, not just uh, the uh, the data table. So it's a uh, uh, like our unique. Uh, if you compare that to the relational database, it's like the unique ID. Or when we may say it's the primary key uh, field in the table. But the big difference is uh, URI referred to RDF is the universally unique. Uh, so if you publish your uh, the data model or RDF as our endpoint, you, uh, that is uh, validate and you need to ensure that is the universally unique. Uh, otherwise, it's, uh, it will not allow you to publish, I believe, and let you link data from different sources around the world, not within the, your same table within the database. So uh, that is the, uh, the quite important uh, difference uh, you need to bear in mind uh, when they move further chapters in this book. And the IRI is uh, internationalized resource identifier. It's uh, when we're talking the Sparkle query language specification, it's actually referred to IRI because it's uh, uh, already evolved enough. It uh, should be covered uh, multi-language, uh, uh, so they including those uh, Unicode. So uh, when it's uh, talk about the name resources and not the uh, URI and uh, URL, because IRI is the most inclusive uh, term, if you remember that uh, uh, 
uh, this uh, grouping. Uh, and with namespace term, uh, namespaces uh, we define here is a set of names used for a particular purpose. It's possible to distinguish between the different signs of words, as I mentioned here. That is the W3C is a concept, uh, but I believe you are not here uh, the namespace uh, starting from this book uh, uh, because this book we're talking about the Sparkle, but uh, namespace is used in lots of the like, computing, uh, the programming language. Uh, so we, uh, within CS uh, field, uh, the namespaces are uh, the the generic name is referred to a set of the names uh, uh, used for a particular purpose. So you you can see the namespace in Java, in XML, in the different uh, the programming language. So that is the uh, the namespace used in programming. Uh, and in W3C, so uh, uh, you can uh, get some ideas about the namespace uh, because namespaces will be used uh, in our uh, query. Uh, so, uh, if you come to uh, our uh, the, those uh, turtles, uh, uh, we, which we have done, so let's see, so TTL. So, those are our namespace. And we can put this uh, namespace uh, like uh, whatever name you like. Uh, you remember it's on this uh, turtle 002, we call this AB, but uh, we can also call this uh, address book as A, so if you want. So just keep this uh, as a EB still. So uh, if you use that in A, then you can continue uh, use A as the short name. Uh, but the book is also mentioned are a little distinguished for the namespace used in RDF compared to used in the XML. In XML, is so once you define our namespace with a short name, from the line below is uh, you will also, uh, uh, always be translated that uh, using the, your short name. Uh, so you cannot uh, use the, the full name anymore. So because it is converted that into your uh, the new namespace uh, definition. But in RDF, uh, is not have that uh, restriction. Uh, in my understanding, is uh, uh, even I define this uh, as a namespace, but in any line, I can still use my full, full length of this uh, URI or IRI uh, to replace this AB. So for the RDF, uh, they just treat this as our uh, the triple, so from the subject, the predicate, and the object. Uh, object is, uh, or we call it the subject uh, property, name, uh, property name, property value. Uh, so depending on is, uh, your preference, you can use AB to represent your namespace, or you can use uh, the direct namespace uh, uh, yourself, so uh, directly still. Uh, so those are the uh, the way is I hope through this uh, short video uh, we have uh, distinguished enough about this uh, uh, four uh, I add this uh, URN still so uh, you now have the idea is the uh, within RDF we are uh, focus on the URI but within Sparkle uh, is already cope with uh, IRI so those are the inclusive uh, scope is the of a query language uh, touch base uh, with. Uh, so uh, I hope this uh, gave you the uh, good understanding here. So you can uh, refer to uh, this uh, branch uh, to get the information. And the next uh, video, we will talking about uh, some concept uh, within the RDF that can be more uh, the, uh, exciting. See you in the next video, bye.